my friend online. It's Thursday. Welcome back to my channel. I think I seriously screwed up. Hi, my name is Jen and I'm online. This is a channel where I just do daily vlogs, a couple of videos. I try to give them to you at least once a week. And if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel. Back to my royally messing up. This week, I have felt like the weight of the world has been on my shoulders. I've been getting home from work, or the gym and just completely zoned out. And I think I figured out what it was. I have really been upping my gym game. I give myself kudos for that. I've been really putting in the work at the gym. I've been going at least three, possibly sometimes four days a week, working on a leg program that my brother gave me. But this is where I messed up. I don't think I increased my calorie intake enough to match the effort that I'm putting in at the gym. And it has been like an outer body experience. I just feel like my body, my muscles have say, either you're going to rest me or feed me. If not, I'm not doing a thing. I'd finish up work, drag my butt to the gym, and then get home completely and utterly exhausted. So going forward, I'm going to not just try to focus on increasing my protein intake, I'm going to make sure that I'm getting a sufficient amount of calories as well. Cause I think that was like really just, just had me struggling this week. You see right now, I just got home from work. I got home a little bit early and I didn't even have the energy to pick up the camera. And then that's when I realized you're hungry. And it's weird because I, my stomach's not like super growling or anything like that. I'm just so been feeling so fatigued. So I said, let me remedy this situation. I'm going to get up here out of this nap and go get something to eat. I do feel much better after getting something to eat. So like I said, going forward, I'm going to really be mindful of my diet and, and not just hitting it hard at the gym. So that's my epiphany for today. I will check back in with you later. Good morning, happy Sunday, and it is a happy Sunday for me. Yesterday at the gym, I got some good news. I did the in-body scanner, and apparently I had lost um, about, not a whole pound, but about half a pound, which I'm actually happy for, and the reason why is that I did lose a whole pound of fat and gained about 0.8 pounds of muscle. So that means what I'm doing as far as my diet and the exercise routine my brother gave me, 
seems to be working. So I am very happy for that. Today, I'm gonna to have a light breakfast. Um, we're meeting my brother for lunch. We are going to go to a Korean barbecue place. I've never been to a Korean barbecue place, but I'm looking forward to it. So I am gonna to try to get some exercise in today. I'm gonna to try to do it two days in a row. I wanna to try to shoot for Saturday and Sunday working out, but we'll see how that goes. So right now I'm gonna fix a light breakfast, um, probably some toast, peanut butter and fruit, and a glass of oat milk. Cause I wanna keep it up getting that protein because I'm on a roll, I'm feeling good about this. So I will check back in with you later. Checking back in. I'm about to head out to a lunch slash brunch. We're gonna meet my brother at a Korean uh, barbecue place. And this is what I'm wearing. I got these plants from Banana Republic. This is my first time wearing them, very comfortable and they feel great. And this top I got a while back from, I think Macy's, it says, C'est la vie. And I really like it and nice little stripe. I feel the stripe helps make it a little bit casual so it's not too dressy. And my LV belt. And um, these shoes, I wanna talk about these shoes. I love these shoes. These are just some $30 loafers that I got from Amazon. And I tell you, I am always reaching for them. They're so comfortable. I've walked all around Paris with these. I've walked all around Rome with these. I also have them in cream, but I always grab the black. And this was the best investment. Um, I wanted to see if I like chunky loafers by trying out these from Amazon before I invested in a designer pair. And I've actually just got so much wear out of these. I actually get a lot of compliments about these as well. And I think I'm really looking at the Christian Louboutin, but I feel like nothing's gonna be as comfortable, not even the Prada, definitely not the Gucci. I tried on the Gucci loafers, and my God, are they uncomfortable. And I feel like I'm just not going to get a loafer so comfortable. These literally feel like sneakers. Even with this little heel, you could just walk for days and days and your feet never ache, your feet never get tired, your legs don't get tired. So I don't know, I don't think it's, I'm debating if it's worth spending about $1,000 on a designer pair of loafers when I'm getting so much use out of these. and. They're not even wearing down for as much as I wore these. And I just find myself in the wintertime always grabbing for these. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you have any preferences for designer loafers and ones that could give me as much comfort as these? So we are back from the Korean barbecue. I enjoyed it, it was really good. Now it's time to finish up my Sunday or weekend food prep. Yesterday I did the food prep for the tuna fish sandwiches. I also did the food prep for the overnight oaks. Now I have to do the food prep for the eggs. But we've changed because our cholesterol was kind of high. Mine was actually higher than my husband's and I don't even eat eggs every day. 
we're going to switch from whole eggs to little egg white cups. I made them last week and I totally forgot to film and they turned out pretty good. And I decided I was going to buy some special molds just for them. And that way I could cook them in the pressure cooker and I wouldn't have to use cupcake paper molds. I could just put them in a smaller mold and pop them out. So let's see how that goes. Well, first we got to open up the package because I did order the um, molds from Amazon. And here they are. I just ordered a set that came with two. Um, in the reviews, they said that one of the negatives were these little cups were very small, but they look about the size of what I expected them to look. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it makes seven little egg cups. You can see the picture on there. I'm gonna give these a rinse off. And I'm gonna then grab the uh, the Instapot, but this is what they look like. So let's rinse these off and get started. So I'm gonna be honest with you, it has been a minute since I have used this Instapot. And um, it's just not something I reach for. I still reach for my crock pot a lot more than I do this Instapot, to be honest with you. Uh, I need the, I basically need to put water in it and then put these cups down in here, but these cups need to sit on something. So yesterday I chopped up some shard, basically the green leafy part of the beets and some onions. <laughs> So after getting our lab results back, we found out we both have high cholesterol. So I decided to switch over to egg whites, which I've been using for the past week. So instead of boiled eggs, we'll be having these egg white cups. I will let you know how they came out, how they taste in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.